Formula V race fans, and here we are for race three of round two of the 2013 Australian Institute of Motorsport New South Wales Formula V State Championship. All right, so the starting order is Ogden, who took a win yesterday with Ryan Reynolds second, James Horde third, and Timmy Brook. Darren Williams got a cracking start out from the outside there. Right round the inside of, I think that was Michael Cluderay who actually, started well. Actually, I think it was um, no, more, more no. so that, um, that Lockie Higgins had a shocking start that both... Uh, it was it um, Darren Williams and Dylan Thomas went either side of him. Right, the track's still a bit damp and patchy. He's on from board. The rain. Oh, great shot from this is Dylan Thomas's car starting from okay. seventh position. And I there's believe. Lockie Higgins' bad start. So I think you'll see Darren Williams on the outside and Thomas on the inside. Okay, so and there goes oh Simon Pace goes up the inside of Horn. Horn gives him plenty of room. He does uh, move over to the right, probably taken a bit by surprise. James might have been. Now they're all going down the inside on the damp section of the track. Inside for turn two. So it's much drier track than in the last race, but it's still a little bit of damp spots around and a fair bit of oil dust on the outside here. Right, here you, you, you can well, see... there it. you go, Simon, got a bit of the dust there. That was, that was a good shot of the two uh, the two apexes on uh, on that corner that you can see. Okay, Dylan's going to switch back to the inside. He's going to take him here, isn't he? Oh. No, look at the grunt of Simon Pace's Mako. Okay, so Ryan Reynolds leads it with Ogden and Timmy Brook third. They're, Simon they're, Pacey fourth. And they're going for it. They're much faster than they were this morning through these corners, obviously less damp. And out on the uh, the concrete apron of the exit of turn five, look at the snake of cars going through here. Here comes Cluderay. going to have a look up the inside now, of this Horn. Is, this is a go. Have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, lock it up. Oh, now that's uh, lucky there were no collisions there from uh, the, the brake lock-up. Well, front. James Horn gave a fair bit of spot. Look, 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 at, look at Gary. Gary, your hook's made a lot of spaces. After uh, a DNF this morning, his traditional one race non-finished per round. Right, here we go, the pack through. Oh, and look, Dylan Thomas getting the tail out through turn eight. That's okay. a fast, flat-out fourth gear corner. Different line there from a few different cars there coming in. But there's only fractions of a second behind, be, apart uh, of this leading pack, just uh, one and a half uh, laps into this race. Okay, so it's uh, Ryan Reynolds followed by Ogden, followed by uh, Timmy Brook. Darren Will- uh, Simon Pace, Darren Williams, Dylan Thomas. Jeez, they took turns 10 and 11 and, and 12 in a flash in that lap, didn't they? Certainly did. Here comes Michael Cluderay looking at Horn again. So Horn must have got back past Cluderay at 9. Three wide coming down here. Three Timmy wide. Brook takes the lead. And it's all slipstreaming and then fanning out. Simon Pace goes wide. Right, round turn one, two and three and four wide. And uh, in the next pack of cars, two and three wide again. Okay, and just behind them there, you've also got Corinne Perry. And here you've got Jeff Bennett. Uh, Just, uh, all the, and then the 1200 all going through there pretty quick that's okay. about 160 to 170 kilometres now they don't lift off Gee, they keep coming. Gear. here we go through turn one okay. Dylan Thomas catching uh, Ryan Reynolds in the white sabre row two just ahead they're all going desperately down to the inside of the corner no one wants to give that uh, opening to let them through Simon there's, Pace being wide there. right, there's Ooh. the first apex now the second apex OK, so Simon Pace, Simon Pace put himself on the outside there. He was always going to get hung out to dry. And he has been, yes. Now, Dylan Thomas right behind Gary Ogden in the Corsica. OK, you need to be pretty committed to go for a dive up the inside here yep. and it might affect your exit, so... Right, a very gentle choice. lift, maybe a dab of the brake and back on the throttle in fourth gear through turn five. So Simon Pace in, in that corner at turn two went from about second to about sixth or fifth. Right, uh, OK, Darren Williams just running wide onto the concrete. Now, lots of cars. Yeah. Now, this concrete section was only put in a year ago. And oh, there's Steinig making his way back through after an earlier DNF. Now, look at that. Oh, is that Butcher That's, or is that Thompson? That, I think that was... Uh, Must have been Butcher. That was Butcher, almost out of control on the exit of Turn 5. There's Jeff Bennett with Gamara looking up the inside but thinking better of it. Right, uh, third gear for this corner. There's Pete McDonald from yeah, Canberra. And just ahead of that, you had the Pete, his father and son, both one in the 1200, one in the 1600. Right, side by side. There's Back in Bernie, the way in the Cannon Boys. Father and son, Bernie at the front, and Stephen there in the white 1967 Nimbus. So you've actually got father and son battles going on at two different parts of the circuit there. Right, back down the main straight. Ogden around the outside of Reynolds. Right, and they're all going so fast, it's hard there you to go. see. Look, who at the they gap, are. look at the gap that Timmy Brooks got. Yeah, he's got enough of a gap. He's moved over to the right hand side to, to take for a wide entry into this flat out sweeping corner. Thomas is looking up the back of uh, Ryan Reynolds' car there as well. Right, and you can see the crowd on the right hand side going wild as these Formula V's go down the There goes Gamara up the inside of Jeff Bennett with um, another orange car of Bruce, Pier- Bruce Pierce. Here's Thomas behind. Back on, on board. 
behind Ryan Reynolds this and is... uh, Ogden's gone a bit defensive straight off the bat. That's right. Uh, probably the right thing to do here, actually. Thomas and is going to put himself out wide here, which is not always open. the best thing, especially all this oil dust. Oh, he's able to get back in. Well, uh, didn't lose anything either, so why not try something if you've got nothing to lose? Yeah, if there had been another car to slip, fill up the slot behind Ryan Reynolds, he would have been hung out to dry. Right now there's that uh, good shot of the trick rear suspension of that Sabre 02. Okay. Um, so... Uh, Darren Williams is oh, Darren Williams is ahead of Simon Pace there, just behind this top four here. Simon must have had a little mishap there on so, that last lap. Um, okay, and the, and the top six here have actually pulled away from the, the next group. Top uh, Tim five. Tim must have found some speed from that race early this morning. He looks to be able to keep the gap without a problem. So you got Cluderay, Higgins, uh, Oldfield, uh, that was Oldfield, and and Corinne Perry behind Benny Oldfield. And Corinne, the only lady uh, uh, in driving in New South Wales and in this field at the moment, and she's taken a step up in performance. Oh, this Ryan year. Reynolds has run a bit wide. Thomas has got an opportunity to come up the inside, but that, the exit is better by Ryan. Right now, well, Dylan Thomas, uh, characteristically driving. Driving safely. Yeah, some might not agree. Okay, Thomas has now got the toe from Ryan Reynolds. He'll go around the outside coming into turn one, followed by Darren Williams. And Simon Pace has still not made that ground back up to the front there. So, uh, okay, fanning out. now. Look, Gary Ogden having a look at there. That's right, he's caught up to Tim. Okay, he's got the toe. He's actually got past he's, him quite easy there. That's right, made quite a gap actually. And uh, Thomas has got past Ryan Reynolds and uh, Darren Williams is he, he's in board. Now and this Darren is Williams just joins it. So he should be able to maintain this difference in velocity. Yeah, Thomas says, use your head, let's go forward. Are you sure that's what he was saying? Or no, was he was... saying, thank you, that was very nice of you, Ryan. Okay, so Thomas is going to put his head down here and try and catch the front too, because they've made a bit of a gap. Here's uh, Jeff Bennett, followed by um, uh, Bruce, Bruce Pierce. Pierce. Uh, Simon Thompson's got ahead of uh, Matty Pierce. That's right, and uh, Bruce Pierce has got ahead of Matt Pierce also. Back to the front, turn okay. five. That's Gary Ogden's taken the lead, of, uh, kept the lead. A front of Tim, but it's only a couple of nose cone links in it. Okay, so Thomas is uh, now trying to get, get the, use his head and move forward. Gee, there's uh, Ryan Reynolds going wide, probably going a bit too wide. This is going to look like a good lap here by Thomas if he catches those two. Benny Oldfield, Lockie Higgins. He's in a great toe. He's made up so much distance. It's, uh, it's uh, incredible, actually. There's Bruce Perry there as well. Now, just in the last couple of years, the lap record at this track's been broken, what, three times? Well, Jason Cutts has held the lap record since, it uh, must be... I don't know. A number of years ago, it got broken last year at the V8 round. In one race meeting, it was broken twice. That's right. Yeah, Butcher took it on the Saturday, and Mitch Martin took it on the Sunday with a 46.7 something. Okay, so. but uh, I think Thomas is making a lot of gain. Let's uh, get a camera angle. Here Look he is. He's, Thomas he's is. getting a bit of the toe here. And he's got a double toe down this straight. Hang on a sec. There's a lap of a 146.5 that's new a, lap record. That's a new lap record. That's incredible. Here's Lockie Higgins going up the around the outside of Benny, Benny Oldfield. there. Yeah, that's inc- The lap record's in the low 146s. Who would have thought that when Formula V 1600 started here in 2002 and 2003? Okay. That, back then we were doing 150s and 151s. Here you go. Here's three wide coming through turn one. Thomas on the outside. He's that's, not going to get around there. Oh. That's the leading pack. As Thomas, he, I think he's I made up about 50 metres just in about 200 metres of track length. I don't know if he's going to make it around the long way around of Ogden here. Ogden's going to have the inside for the corner. And there is that cement dust up at the outside. Timmy Brook will be right on the back door of Bet Gary Abs- Ogden. Absolutely. There's dead. a few spots of rain there. Oh, Whoa, and look, Ogden, Ogden. That's, why did he, oh, and, oh, and Thomas just survived that. Just yeah. survived that. But yeah. Gary Lock- Ogden pushing it to the limit, leaving in a fraction of a second, and Tim Brook goes from third to first. That's a that nice, easy, easy passing move there for, for Timmy Brook. Here goes uh, the 1200 battle with Matty Pierce on the inside of Simon Thompson. Battle. No, Thompson's battle. going to hold him. Well, no, no not, not yet. Maybe Simon's just run a bit wide. He's on top. Okay, there's Matty Pierce going up the inside. That's turn two a bit further down the track. See so that nice wide entry, which gives him a good exit there from Thompson. That was quite clever, actually. Exactly, and this, he's kept the distance there without losing anything at all. Okay, so. Back uh, to the front, Brooke, Ogden. Dylan Wait, Thomas hey, with the, the new lap record holder, Dylan Thomas. Right, Ryan's fallen back behind. Uh, Darren Williams and Simon Pace has not been able to make any impact on this group. He's 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 hanging in there. <laughs> I reckon it must be these Australian Institute of Motorsport stickers that are over every car that must be adding at least half a second speed to every one of these cars this weekend. It certainly must be, and the track's still a little bit slippery out on the edges if you're not on the line. Okay, a couple of cars running wide, not the two 1200 cars. No. Matt Pearce in the red and white Lipton. 
And yeah. Simon Thompson in the Blues 1200 Stinger. I think so, uh, Matty Pearce is getting some miles in the uh, 1200 because he's planning to run the national title in Morgan Park at the end of the year. All right, Peter McDonald in the 1200 Kestrel, a South Australian car. I must say, Peter McDonald must be one of the most in drive, improved drivers this year. He, he came in halfway through last year, and this year he's regularly... Taking it to the, to the, to the top and guys I, in 1200s. I think it helps when you work out what the firing order of your engine is and, and get the, the, the starter motor working as well. Well it's done, a, Peter. It certainly does. So, uh, right, more ne- slipstreaming passing down the straight. Yep, so this time you're going to have Gary Ogden around the outside of Timmy inc- Brook. Now Thomas comes to join the party as well. This is incredible. Typically, Formula V, great close racing here in New South Wales. Simon Pace must have heard my comments because he was just doing a passing mover on... That's Gary Hook. He, look, Ryan Reynolds. He's probably done more laps in this race than he's done all year. Well done, Gary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, here's the 1,200 guys going neck to neck once again. Swapping places lap after lap and no more than about two or three car lengths apart. Okay, and Peter McDonald still holding a solid third in the 1,200 battle. Bit lonely out there, but third place, better to be lonely in third than in fourth or fifth or sixth. Okay, and I think... Uh, it's father and son, father side and son. by side. With Jeff Bathinway just in front of the pair of them. Exactly. So the the, the father holds holds way... Oh, nice, late, deep... Oh. Yeah, Ogden moves, side, Ogden's car side. moves a lot on the brakes there. Well, Gary Ogden, maybe it's oh, the driver. Oh, there you go, look how slippery it was. Oh, bad luck, otherwise he would have oh. had a great position, but didn't lose just one position, but two, unfortunately. Darren Williams diving down the inside when the opportunity you, was given to you him. You can see how many car lengths. He was right He was right in the battle for the for the front two, and he's lost about seven car lengths just by touching that uh, cement dust. Right, we haven't said much about Darren Williams there, but a, a great driver, great competitive driver who's there at every race meeting, and almost always in the top one, two, three, or five. Okay, here's Benny Oldfield, Michael Clutere and uh, Lockie Higgins there coming into the, what was turn six, seven. He's now just turned six. Well, ben Oldfield did extremely well to finish six in the first race yesterday, but uh, having a few problems. Um, but look, he actually seems to be driving very consistently in this race and n- not too far off the leading pack. Here's Jeff Bennett and, um, and Brucey Bruce, Pierce. Bruce Pierce in the Matt Pierce, Jason. And actually, Brucey Pierce, just to be no- noted, is a two time 1200 champion. Uh, New South Wales state champion, that's correct. Yeah, that's right. Uh, two lead 1,200 cars. Matt Pearce still with the lead. Okay, Thomas looking at that. Matt, Look at, um, Darren Williams' car, but he didn't pull out, actually. Well, that Dylan well, Thomas car is obviously going like a rocket ship, but they've both got the double toe off well, the two leading orange that cars. That was actually clever thinking there by Thomas. If he had it pulled out, Darren Williams was still in the toe of the cars in front. He would Look have at hit this, two by two. Air by himself, and he would have stopped. Right, Cars wheel to wheel, the two leading orange cars. Let's see who gets through. Oh, I'd put my money on Gary Ogden being on the inside line, and we already know there's a cement dust on the outside, which Timmy Brooks now got into, and uh, that's going to And getting him. his side car sideways. Yep. And Thomas goes from third or fourth, who knows what he was, here's, into second place. Here's Thompson going up the inside of Matty Pierce. So that's the 1200 battle has been fiercely fought, and uh, I must say. Matty Pearce is a very experienced campaigner in both 1200 and 1600, and Simon Thompson is, uh, is, is quite a rookie and well, he's uh, really taking it to him. It is, and Simon's uh, second race meeting, the first race meeting, he took all three heats uh, in a clean sweep, and uh, he's got a bit of competition uh, in a great car now with Matt Pearce, and uh, Simon's still up there fighting hard for the lead. Okay, so Thomas is now all over the back of Ogden, and... Uh, Timmy Brooks about a car length back and another Look car at this leading back. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. After about 10, 12 laps of racing, this is great stuff. I mean, I'm really enjoying this. So Simon Pace is uh, at the rear of this pack of six. Um, the next is uh, Lockie that's Higgins, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Benny Oldfield, Michael Cluderay, who's had a fantastic return, and, and Corinne Perry. Corinne Perry, who comes uh, fo- uh, from uh, James Horn, he's Fort Macquarie, he's back up a bit. the North Coast, of course. Yeah, James, uh, he slipped back a few places. After finishing on the podium in the last race. And Gary Hooks, off, off the back of the grid, is uh, he's not doing too bad coming back up. And he was fighting with Daniel Stein, who uh, was sitting in the podium position before um, he lost something in the last race. That's right. Um, OK, two 1,200 cars gone through. The so year. Matty Pearce has got back in front of Simon, even though Simon... Here you go, Tom is going to look at uh, Gary, Gary Ogden. Ogden here. And the slipstream coming into play there. Here we have a good look at it. And this is the last lap, so you want to, you actually don't want to be so leaving. So who's this fighting lap. for the lead here? Oh, here you go. But you can't back off if you're going to back off here. Then Timmy, Brook, Timmy could, Brooks going to be up the inside here, is he? No, it, no, but he'll be See, right on his tail. You can't afford to be too smart and play strategies on this last lap. Well, I think Thomas might have pulled in behind Gary Ogden here, thinking about not leading in the last lap and trying to get the toe for the line. Right, but if he uh, leaves it for just the last run down the straight, then Tim Brooks there maybe to capitalise on Dylan Thomas. He might take both of them. And here's a, exactly here's a 1200 battle there with line. Side, by, side by side. Who's got the slipstream here? Neither of them. If that was uh, the last lap, I don't know. That 
that would have been a photo finish for that one. Exactly, but Matt Pearce, is he well-placed or isn't he well-placed for the last lap? Yeah, Run well, down the main straight. Okay, so the top four have pulled away from the next two. So Ryan Reynolds and, and Simon Pace have dropped off this front right, four. But it's still nose cone to nose cone to nose cone on the last lap of four cars after 12 laps. Okay, Timmy Brooks looks to have a look. No, Thomas puts his nose out just to show that he's not, not going to leave him in. Right. Darren uh, Williams is actually looking pretty threatening there as well. And Lockie Higgins is leading this battle in front of Oldfield, Corinne and Cluderay's falling in the right, back Corinne, of that four. Corinne just got ahead of Michael Cluderay through there. And there's there. Steiny, Ogden, uh, Steiny, um, uh, Gary Hook and, um, and Bruce Perry's done a good job as right. well. Gary Hook's doing well. Stephen Gamara, lonely race. Very and, quiet race for Stephen. And we haven't seen Morgan Fremantle out there, but no doubt he's out there driving as fast as he can. There, and there was uh, Jeff Bennett in his debut race, also having a fairly lonely race in front of the 1200. Well, he, he, he's lost out on Bruce Pierce. I don't know where Bruce Pierce has head to. Yeah, he hasn't had a lonely race because he was running with Bruce for most of the day. So uh, There's Bruce. Bruce there is, he is. Well, Bruce must have lost. He must have had a spin, uh, probably on the exit of turn two with all that dust. Yeah. Peter McDonald, the third of the twelve hundred cars, and he's Jeff Bassingthwaite no, and no. Stephen Cannon. No, Bernie Cannon, Bernie and Cannon Stephen, Stephen Cannon. Cannon. What's happened to Jeff? Jeff was uh, ahead of Steve at one stage. Yeah. There's Jeff Bassingthwaite. Okay, so this is the right line. Actually, look this. Thomas has lot messed it up. He was planning for the toe down the straight. There's but a chequered flag. Gary, Gary Ogden, Ogden takes, takes his a, second win in a row. And Tim Brooke just missed out on a slipstream over the line to take third place ahead of Darren Williams. Great drive, Darren, to uh, finally get up to the top four after a huff, tough weekend. Okay, and it looks like Simon Pace might have got... Um, oh, this is going to be tight. It's, yes, Benny Oldfield. Benny yes, Oldfield's Ben Oldfield. Game. Ben Oldfield, it looks like, took, took Lockie. Lockie Higgins. Well, if you can't win the war, make sure you win the battle. I think Benny Oldfield might have got Lockie Higgins there with... Uh, uh, Clue to oh, look yes. at this. Here's some claps for Steiny. Well, the, the crowd goes wild. That's great. Great driving from the Formula V team. Okay, so uh, fantastic racing all the way. This is a slow car. What's... That's Gary Hook. Gary Hook. Gary look, Hook. At least he made it to the finish before his car died on him. Look at this. That's Simon a... Thompson. That was Simon Thompson scooting past Matty Matt Pierce. Pierce. Matty Pierce huge... had him, but Matty Pierce has got a problem. A huge difference in he, speed. What's he's going on, board. on here? That's, so... that's not a toe. No, that's, that's trouble with... Matt Pierce's car. What a shame for Matt. Matty Pierce probably was in position to win that, and he right. uh, didn't do it. Right, but there's that old saying that to finish first, first you have, have to, finish. to finish. So Ma- Peter Mack came in third, and here comes fourth. That's, is oh, oh Bernie. Week. Bernie Cannon just beats his uh, son Stephen out by a fraction okay, of so a Okay, so it's Ogden Thomas, Timmy Brook, Be- Darren Williams, Simon Pace, Ryan Reynolds, Ben Oldfield did get Lockie Higgins. Then you got Corinne Perry, Clutter eight tenth, Eleven Horn, Twelve Stein, Bruce Perry thirteenth, Hooky fourteenth. Gamara 15th and Bennett 16th. Here you go, 1200s. Right, uh, Simon Thompson just beat Matt Pearce. Pete McDonald, great job, Pete. Bernie Cannon, Stephen Cannon, and uh, uh, great to see best Jeff Bassingthwaite still going around there, but a bit further back than he might have liked. 